So today I'm joined by a very exciting guest from 90 Day The Single Life, Molly Hopkins. Hello, Molly. Hi, how are you? Good. We've got two Mollies on right now, so I feel some good energy coming from it. Girl. Yes. We're the we're the levitators. The know. levitators. <laughs> what was your what's your take now after filming about Big Ed's behavior on the show on that tell all parks? We saw that you were willing to stick up for Liz and you know, give your opinions on there. Honestly, he said he goes to the therapist, but maybe he needs to go to the shaman too. Maybe he <laughs> needs to spend a little time with himself, within himself, to fully factor in what's happening. He would tell me all the time that it wouldn't work out between us. And I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Um, the fact that he even landed her. Yeah. Yeah. She really did fall in love with him. So after she really kind of pushed back, she went in deeper and she allowed herself to put the wall down from where she had been in her own self, you know, abusive relationships. And I just was not, mm -mm, and Kelly definitely wasn't with it. At first we were kind of like, okay, cool. Let's see what's up. Cause we got to spend a little time with him in between the filming and on the set. But then he's like, I don't like him. Yeah. You know, I don't like the way he's doing. And we did realize that he was very self-absorbed. There's a difference between, you know, using this platform for good, using your your fame, that your notoriety that you get. But if it's really because of your own ego and being self-absorbed and you're not using it for good. And I feel like there was times where he, in that particular circumstance, Kelly is like, I want Molly. I don't want 90 Day Molly. I don't want Double Divas Molly. I don't want anything from me. When we're out sometimes, we have to just kind of like, we're on family time right now. You know, we don't want to shunt fans, but we also have to separate that. And we've managed to do that and spend quality alone time. Whereas I don't think Ed ever shut that down. Louise is going to appear on the tell all. How did that make you feel? And I guess, um, did that bring up some stuff for you or just, make you feel lucky in the spot where you are now, how much you've grown. I'd be lying if I didn't immediately be like, oh shit, you know, like, ugh, and have like the bubble in my gut. Like, but I also know that who I am as a person and that journey was what it was for me. And I was very, very good to him and his family. And my intentions were pure and honest um, and when I met him, I, maybe my headspace was off, but I really fell in love with the country, his family, the culture. And it was fun for me because I'm very youthful inside. I'm not old, but I'm 45. So to have been with some a man in his 20s was definitely very different. But I also think it was challenging and it was also more relatability for women who do this. I mean, when men do it, it's no big deal, right? But when women do it, it's like, oh my God, you're so old, you're a cougar. No. So once again, some of the things that I went through are the same things that other people are going through. And it may be the catalyst for them to make a decision to do something better for their life. Yeah. And that's the difference. Um, is that I'm okay to share my journey openly because at the end of the day, I'm still very powerful. I'm still very strong. And even though we go through this, we can do it. I, I, I look, I'm probably having a good thinking about it, but I was more concerned for Kelly at that moment because he didn't ask about it. He doesn't care about it, which is why it was okay for me for him not to share his past because at this point, our past is simply that our past. We don't have to bring that into our future and we don't need to. So even though on the show, a big thing is, and even with my friends and we still don't know, he's still very private. Mm -hmm. And if something comes up and rears its head at any point in this time of our journey, then I'm gonna deal with it as it comes because I know who he is as a man and I don't care. Let's just say Luis may or may not have said something that was very unsavory and Kelly is very protective of me. So I didn't want him to oh. turn into Kales, that dude. Yeah. <laughs> that protecting that mom. guy that's about to defend and honor his woman because he will go to all lengths for respect for me. And that's where I was worried. So yeah. you'll see.